Heavenly Father, we surrender our body to you. Make it your home, the temple, and any ungodly things you find here. Cast them out by your power. We hold back nothing from you, Lord, and we give everything to you to be in charge. We don't want to care what people say about our body. We don't want to be carried away by crowds of people, because what is essential is for you to live in us. Today, Lord, let people see you in us, and let your power manifest in us. Let our body be used for your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Friday, January 26th. 2024. This is your word. The King you open heaven, a guide to close friendship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an heavenly language. Hallelujah song we never say to our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning. Is what is God's temple? Part 3. What is God's temple? Part 3. And let me first let me find the book of Deuteronomy 12, verse 6. I read And Taita, ye shall bring your bond offering, and your sacrifice, and your tithe, and give offering of your hand, and your vows, and your free will offering, and the firstling of your head, and of your flocks. And Taita ye shall bring your burnt offering, and your sacrifice, and your tithe, and every offering, of your hand and your vows, and your fluid offering, and the firstling of your head, and of your floors. Beyond the house of prayer and healing, God's temple is also the house of sacrifice. Anyone who wants to sacrifice anything has to take a sacrifice to a designated place. In Yoruba land, where I come from, when they want to sacrifice to the devil, they take a sacrifice to the crossroad, and when they want to sacrifice to witches and wizard, they put it behind an Iroko tree. For us, who give sacrifice to the Most High God, he said in 2 Chronicle 7 verse 12, that he has chosen his temple as the place where he will accept our sacrifice. Furthermore, the Taonomy 16 verse 16 says that you should not come empty-handed when you are coming to the temple of God because he wants to accept your sacrifice. A friend of mine used to say whenever he was taking offering, if you have none, borrow from your neighbor so that when the basket is going round, God will say you put something in it. Then he will add, it will not be long before you two will learn to order. God takes giving sacrifice in a step so seriously that he always observes what people drop in the offering basket. In Mark 12, 41 to 44, Jesus watched the offering that people gave and where which one we are sacrificed and which we are not. This tell you clearly that God is keen on accepting sacrifice in his temple. Some people say that because they don't trust their pastor, they would rather give to the poor than to give to church. First, I don't understand why they have a pastor they believe to be a thief. Secondly, it is good to give to the poor. Proverbs 19 verse 17 says that when you give to the poor, you are indirectly giving to God. However, you must never neglect giving your sacrifice in the house of God itself. If somebody say, he likes me and give me my children money, when he sees them by the roadside, but he refuses to give them, when he sees in public, that is nothing to talk about. Whenever I see that there is need in my family, Despite knowing the way to my house and having money to give, I will begin to suspect such a fellow. It will be clear that he isn't giving money to my children because he's like me. 
But for other reasons, this might be because he just wants to be seen in public as a giver or that he wants to get some undue influence over my children. It is the same when you claim to give to the poor in the name of God but never give in the house of God itself. Ready? Give to God. I want us to read the book of Deuteronomy 12, verse 5 to 6, and our Bible in one year, Exodus 35, verse 37, our hymn in 23, Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Our key point for today, make it a point of duty to never go to the house of God empty-handed. It is place of sacrifice. Make it a point of duty to never go to the house of God empty-handed. It is a place of sacrifice. And I pray heaven will bless you beyond your limitation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Give to God and He will never let you down. Brother, this is Love Word. Till I come over tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button, share with your friends and family. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Happy Friday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.